Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy, I am Cord from the Accolades, back with another tutorial. So for this tutorial, I want to show, show you all how to install VSTs for FL Studio Alpha on the Mac. So as you know, this is not Windows. You don't use DLL files for FL Studio on the Mac side. You need the actual DMG files to install your VSTs or some VSTs, you know, require an application manager to install those VSTs for you. So, you know, on the Mac side, you have your AU files, you have your VST uh, and your VST3 files, if I'm not mistaken. So recently I got the uh, Slate Digital plugins and I installed them using the application manager that Slate Digital provides. So as you can see right here, this is the application manager and it allows me to install everything at once. So I've already installed them. I haven't checked to see if they work inside of FL Studio on the alpha side yet. So, you know, I'm about to see right now. So what you normally do is you come over here. Sometimes you might be on, on this browser side. So you want to make sure you choose the plugin database icon right here. And what you want to pay attention to is your installed effects and generators. Now, what your effects are, effects are things such as like reverb plugins, delay plugins, wave plugins, slate digital plugins, uh, things of that nature. So your generator plugins is like Contact, Gladiator, Silent, or Silent, however you want to pronounce it. That's what generators are. So since this is slate digital plugins, it's an effect. So when you install your VSTs, you want to check this first. You want to go to new and everything that's yellow should be, you know, that's everything that's new. So I know Slate Digital has this right here, this Eosis DSer. So that's in there. Uh, I got a couple other things. Uh, we got the virtual mix rack that goes to FGX. So let's see if the uh, virtual mix rack loads up. And these are plugins that you throw, I ain't going to say throw, that, that you put on your, you know, on your actual tracks in the in the mixer. So, as you can see, uh, inside my mixer, there's no Slate Digital plugins in here. So, right now, I'm going to drag this over here. That's my virtual mix rack. Drop right there into slot one. And there we go. That's my virtual mix rack. Now, here's the thing. What if I want to add it to, you know, to this window right here? In order to do that, first you want to click on add the plugin database. I should get like an error, you know, a little error window. There we go. So it say, please first select or open the plugin database subcategory sub folders that describe this plugin best. Then select add to plugin database again. So it's telling me I need to select the folder to put it in. So what they mean by that, is by selecting one of these. I don't want it to be one of these right here. As you can see, it says controller, delay, reverb. If I go here, it's going to say controller, delay, reverb, distortion, so forth. I want to make my own custom thing in here. So I'm going to say like my, my personal. I want to have one of these to say my personal. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go here. We go right click on this. Click on open. And here we go. I'm going to select this right here, this effects folder. I want to create a folder inside here. New folder. My personal. Hope that spelled personal right. So I ain't going to be talking junk. And I'm going to close that. And I should see that over here now. Come on now. What's going on? There we go. My personal. So the error was saying select my subcategories. So I'll click my personal. Add the plugin database as a favorite. Look, it says it's going to be added to that subcategory. Hit OK. Now, if I go back to replace, you see I got a my personal look, section right here. So there we go. So another thing, if you don't see your plugins over here, what you can do is that you can scan for them as well. So you can go to... You can, it's two ways you could do this. I can go here to options. What is it? Manage plugins. And then click on start scan. So I could do it that way. 
Or I could just right click, what is it, the plugin database, and go to manage plugins from here and do that. And then after you do the smart scan, you know, it should show up here under the new section again. But nine times out of ten, once you install the DMG file or your VSTs, it should automatically show up here, whether it's an effect or, like I said, a generator. So right now it's about to start a new scan. All right, so it's scanning for everything. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Let me know. If you got a problem, you know, I'll help you out as well. So uh, appreciate the support. And until the next time, y'all have a good one. Peace out. Bow.